Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing, man? It's Anelli here. What's up, guys? So it's uh, Monday, March 11th, and I uh, just dropped my son off to school. So Mondays, my back hurts. <laughs> It's pretty depressing, actually. Um, so this weekend, like I was telling you guys yesterday, or in our last video, I did 21 hours of on-field or lesson work. And uh, so that's not including like, you know, emails or travel time or anything. That's just actual 21 hours of actual running, like, you know, throwing, flipping, talking. And so I don't know why, but it's tough being almost 34 years old because my back and my right hip always end up killing, typically on Mondays from all the, you know, I, I repeatedly flip the same way over and over and over. I probably do that. I do that. Definitely do thousands of them. And so um, my hip hurts, but today's kind of like my recovery day. So on Mondays, we've got clinics. So we got clinics going on tonight. We've got... Um, got a couple of lessons and stuff but compared to all the other days today's a pretty light day today's the day I used to kind of get caught up on emails and trying to get back to people uh, a lot of people I don't think believe me on the weekend so I don't I don't even go near my email I don't answer my phone I don't answer text because I'm literally on the field or I'm doing something the entire day I don't have one minute to answer anything so a lot of people send me stuff on Friday night and all day Saturday and all day Sunday and then they're and then Monday comes and everyone's wondering why I haven't got back to them and then they resend the emails and then they call me again or they text me again and every week I say like I'm sorry I have really busy weekends or whatever but I don't think people really get it um, so now I have to spend today kind of getting through a lot of stuff I mean I've got tons of emails from our from uh, all different types of people um, like I said, calls, whether it's baseball related and some are not. And then we've got social media with YouTube and Instagram and I got tons of messages on there that I try to get to at some point today. So today's one of those, uh, mostly I uh, consider an office day, mostly doing a whole lot of work, typing, a lot of sitting down, a lot of typing. And then later tonight, we'll get back into the baseball stuff. So um, that's kind of the schedule today. I'll fill you guys in as we kind of go. And then tomorrow we get back to team practices and uh, and get going from there again. Guys, I need help with this. Um, so today's like my cleanup around the house day. Um, I've been busy obviously this whole weekend. And so my wife says, you gotta help clean up around the house, like get cleaning. So I come over to this room and my son has like these matchbox cars and he's got this Hot Wheels Ultimate Garage, right? It's just a mess. So I said, I said, we need to get a plastic bin. That way we can just take all of these cars right here and just throw them in the bin. And my wife said, Matt, that's the lazy way to do it. That's the lazy way, okay? Put in the comment section below. Am I lazy or is, is she a little crazy? So she said, He's got a garage. Put the cars in the garage. And I said, it's, they're, they're pretend, they're pretend cars. They're not real. It's a pretend garage. It's for him to be able to put them in there and play and, and go down this slide right here. But I'm not spending 20 minutes putting these little matchbox cars one by one. Okay. Put this in the, Put that in the garage there, and then, oh, that's a compact car that goes right here. Put that in there. I'm not gonna do this all, this will take me 20 minutes so that he can come home, and when he gets home, right, I, I'd spend 20 minutes doing this all day long, and then he gets home and he goes, ah! and he knocks every car out. So I spent 20 minutes putting the cars in the garage so he can destroy it, in five seconds so that I can come back and have to put them back in for 20 minutes. To me, I'm doing it the smart way, not the lazy way, it's a smart way, okay? Um, just please let me know. She keeps saying I'm lazy and I just think I'm smart and I think she's a little crazy.
Oh, I'll talk to you in a second. I'll be right back. What's up, fellas? Hey, Okay, everyone. We good? All right, this is what we got tonight. So we're going to go, the machine will be on the whole time. If the young guys, if you feel like it's a tad too fast, just let me know. I'll run out of turn now. Guys, <coughs> give it a shot first round. Over here, we're going to do high T over here the whole time. Just let me back real quick. So I want the ball, I want the ball to pretty much almost be like, right at the height of your hand when you land and drive. So that you can just feel yourself turn and hit, okay? So if you're getting RMG, or your elbow's coming in too early here, I'm gonna be below everything, all right? And there we're gonna do a bunch of drills tonight, okay? So next week is Saturday's testing, so we go through all the testing again. So over there, I'll be over there doing flips at first. Let's go full coil first, let's pose forward. Then we'll go half coil, and then we'll mix it up from there. And then everyone's got to get three, three, three with the green, blue, and red over here. Three sets. And then over there, we're going to do a different drill every time through. So I'll explain all the drills, okay? First, let's go first one. Let's go Happy Gilmore drill that we did uh, two weeks ago, okay? So I set up. I put my left foot and my front foot over my back foot. I'm coiling my hips, right? So I'm trying to turn my back pocket. I should preset like that. Now when I pick my foot up and I start to move out, I want to feel like I keep my coil as I'm continuing the stride. Everyone got it? Yep. Yeah. You sure? Yep. Okay. Out of the way. Let's stay over the plate. I wish I didn't say that out loud. He's trying to get into the episode. What? Nice, Connor. Do you hear that or no? I hope not. Out of way. Nice. Good work. Mm hmm. Inside. That's better. Good round right there, Connor. It looks really good. Next guy. Homer? See ya. <laughs> Juan, I'll see ya. Anthony, see ya. I'm exhausted right now. Saturday, Sundays take pretty much everything out of me. So, I actually got a bunch of work I gotta do tonight. I got a couple of online video analysis I have to do. Got a bunch of emails I gotta finish up, but I may just go to bed early, wake up early in the morning, and get back at it. All right, so uh, went to bed early last night, got up early today, um, Getting through some emails, I gotta talk a little quiet. Both my kids are sleeping. I don't want them to wake up too early. Um, although I have to get them up soon for school. So, got down there early today. This is like the quiet time where I get to do some of that office stuff that I was talking about. So, I've been kind of going through yesterday's uh, footage. So, putting that all together now, you guys just actually saw this. So getting all that done, and then um, also doing some email stuff. So trying to get my emails done. This is like a never-ending battle. So just finishing up, finishing up his uh, video analysis, and then if you go to my emails, like they just keep coming in. Seven thirty-one, seven thirty-six, seven thirty-six. I haven't reloaded this yet, um, but. The emails I actually probably do, I think most people don't realize maybe that I do every single email, but I do. 
So, um, but got to keep getting through those. So I got a little bit of time now before I have to go uh, get everybody up to go to school. And then um, later tonight, we're uh, kind of back at it again. I got a bunch of lessons. Uh, we've got team practices. I've got a high school meeting. So got a busy day today. Yeah, sure. So this is uh, this is year six overall for the program. So I stopped playing in 2013 and I immediately started Antonelli Baseball and at the same time I got into coaching college. So I went back to Wake Forest to get my degree. Um, I was a volunteer assistant there, a student assistant um, for a year and then I went over to Holy Cross for a year and coached there. Um, and I was doing Antonelli Baseball at the same time and then um, that third year, I went full time in, into uh, Antonelli baseball. And now I've been full time for the last for the last four years. Yeah, we've been able to grow the program pretty quickly over the last couple of years. The first, you know, the first few we only had uh, we had three teams the first year, four teams the second year, and then once I kind of got into a full time, uh, we really grew quick. We have we have almost a hundred, probably around 140 players or so um, this year. Yeah, man, that sounds great. I mean, I'm, I'm looking forward to, uh, to trying them out, and I'll make sure I get right back in touch with you afterwards so we can figure something out. Yeah, great talking to you, too. Thanks so much. Yeah, absolutely. He's, I mean, he's all about baseball. He's worked really, really hard this offseason um, leading up to the season now. He's, he's up to 235, I think. So he's a, he's a big, strong dude. Um, you know, his velo's gone up. I had him. I had him last week, pretty much 87, 88, um, touched an 89, but he's throwing harder, he's breaking ball sharper. No, I mean, I'm really looking forward to seeing what um, what he looks like once we get outside. I think he's going to be really, really good this year. I mean, he had a really good year for us last year. He did great in high school, um, but he looks like a different pitcher uh, over the last six months or so. Yeah, absolutely. I'll be in touch with you. I'll let you know. Um, you know, hopefully the snow melts and we get out there soon. All right, buddy. All right, so I was going to talk to you. See ya. All right, so uh, pulling up to the facility now. We've got a busy day today. I've got uh, I've got a couple of quick lessons, and then I've got a meeting. We've got a high school meeting here in a little bit, um, kind of an introductory meeting. Also have to get certified again for... CPR. Uh, we got to do that every two years, so I got to go over there and get that done. And then I'm shooting back over for practice tonight. So we've got our 11 year old team practicing, then we've got our 14s, then we've got our 17s tonight. So it's going to be uh, jam packed next uh, six, seven hours to get all that in. So get it going. Beautiful day out today. It's like baseball weather. Look at the snow's melting. That was quick. Just had a ton of snow on the ground not very long ago. Yesterday, last night, there was lots of snow on the ground. Today, sun's out. Beautiful. Looks like Arizona. Sad thing is, it's like 37 degrees out, but it feels warm. P, what's up? Oh, he made it. Sorry about that. It's all right. You owe me a thousand push-ups. You watch my YouTube? I made a new vlog. I want to put you on it right now. Is that cool? Yeah. Good. But it looks like you've got a good feel now, like for getting around this place better. Like slower, controlled, quick. Good. Do a couple regular flips. Feeling from the inside. Out of it. Nice.
Quick, 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 everyone over here, real fast. All right, everyone, listen up. Um, looking at last week, going through the at bats afterwards, what I want to focus on tonight is two strike hitting. Okay? There was a lot, I know that it's obviously really early. So when we get the two strikes, I want you to think about driving the ball. If you're a righty, I want you to think about driving the ball right through the second baseman, okay? If you're a lefty, think about driving the ball right through the shortstop. What's that, what's that going to do for you? If I'm a righty and I'm thinking about driving a pitch right through the second baseman, what's that going to do? Okay, so what do I have to do to do that? Swing later. Yeah, both of those things. The ball's going to travel a little bit more, right? i got to see the ball a little bit longer, okay? So if I see the ball a little bit longer and I'm thinking about hitting the ball back here a little bit and driving it that way, then if he does throw me something else, right? If he does have a curveball or maybe he has a changeup or something off speed, and I'm thinking about driving the fastball over there, well now I'm waiting for the ball. So if he does throw me something off speed like a curveball, I'll still have a chance to hit it. Does that make sense? But if I don't, if I get up there, if I'm thinking about pulling the fastball and he throws me a curveball or something, guess what happens? Way ahead of it, exactly. All right. Because if I want to pull the ball, if, I want to, if I'm a righty and I want to hit the ball in the left center field gap, what do I have to do? Where am I going to make contact with the ball? Out front more. Yeah, so if I'm thinking, oh, I want to, hit, I want to get this ball out front and there's two strikes and he throws me something slow, my bat's out of the zone and the ball's still not even there yet. Okay? Does that make sense, everybody? So think about that. With two strikes, think I'm going to be a tough out, right? I'm going to be a tough out and I'm going to hit something hard right through the second baseman's head. Okay? Sound good? Strike. Three and two. Full count. Foul ball. Full count. What's up, four seamer? Foul ball. Four right away. What a battle. One and two. One after this hitter, just make him come over to this okay. side and I'll switch to Mikey too. Ball four. Good walk right there. Mikey over there, once he's done. Good pitch. Alright. Mikey, two you're facing two guys over there. Dylan, two guys over here. Hitters, thinking from the second you step in the box, I want you guys thinking that if you get your pitch, you're going to drive it. Anticipate getting your pitch and drive it. Thinking aggressive. Here we go. No balls, no strikes. Ground ball. Out. Last 